We are in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. Nick Raybar joins us, Avenue N. We have Thanksgiving stuffing yes. on the menu. It is one of my favorite things. I love a good stuffing uh, on Thanksgiving out of a delicious turkey. Yes. Good morning. Good morning, Will. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to yes, you. Happy yes, Thanksgiving, yes. everybody. Yes, yes, yes. So what's the secret to a good Thanksgiving? Well, good, so I'm uh, going to tell you, uh, this, is a, this is what I like to refer to as a quick and easy Thanksgiving stuffing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there's so many out there. Like, my wife... Make, you know, Tracy makes this incredible stuffing that's right. been passed down from her grandmother, and it has uh, you know sausage and it has these special crackers and right. all that stuff. This is your very basic bare bones stuffing. Got it. From there, you can add anything you want to it. So, uh, do you remember being a kid and a lot of times you'd see like that red box of like stovetop? I the love side, it. Right? I'm not I gonna lie to you. I got nothing wrong with that. It's pretty tasty. So, like, I had never really made stuffing before. Right. Until about uh, 12 years ago, because okay. I was kind of raised on stove, stove top, yep. and it was great. Uh, so we started taking these Thanksgiving orders for the pantry, and I said, well, i got to make stuffing. So the first year, I think we, we had like uh, eight quarts of it. So we have hundreds this year, hundreds. Wow. So I think we're doing something right, and I'm going to tell you the, the, the simplest things. Number one, get cheap white bread. Got it. Get cheap white bread. Don't get something fancy. Okay, uh, something to, with too hard of a crust. Right. Get the cheap white bread. There's something in it that makes it like elastic and delicious. Okay. Really, really good. Uh, then, whoop, let's get that, out of there. get that out of there. Onions and celery. Yes. Okay, very basic. Right. Don't be shy with the butter. No, it's you need Thanksgiving. That. That's what you'd always put in yes. the uh, in the stove top. The a ton of butter. Yes, on you stove top. need a ton of butter. Right, right. Because it's Thanksgiving and you worry about the calories the next day. Yes. One day of the year you punch out, you don't Go stress. Go crazy. So what I do is, and then I have a little herb mix here: thyme, rosemary, parsley. Okay. Um, if you want to add anything else to it, Go great. Crazy. Go okay. for it. So the secret is, you kind of melt the butter, right? right? Yep. And you put in your your celery and your onion. You can add anything you want to it at that point. If you want to add leeks, if you want to add carrots, if you want to add anything else. But I'm keeping it very basic. Okay. Saute it. Go in with your bread. Add a little cream to consistency. Ooh. Mix it. Now, one quick tip. you got to bake it for a little texture. Okay. Otherwise, it's a little too soft. We'll got talk it. all about okay. that. Yes, we will. Thank we'll talk you. all about it later. Right on cue. We will do that. Back to you. And we are back in the Roadshow Kitchen. Nick Raybar's here, Avenue N. We have Thanksgiving stuffing on the menu today. Nick. Yes. So, I know you're making the, this type of stuffing here right yes. now, right? Okay. How do you feel about, because it's a it's in my house, my yes. father-in-law will, like, when he would make his stuffing, he would use the junk in the, the turkey. Yes. My wife does not use that. Yeah. She'll chop up, like, sausage and stuff like that and yeah. put that in the turkey. How yeah. do you feel about the... Do you use the stuff? And I don't. No. And you know, my, and I don't like it. The, and you know, stuffing the cavity is not my bag either. Yeah. You know, it's oh, so like, you don't put it. You don't put the stuff in the turkey. No, okay. I don't. And okay. because like, I used to see them stuff it like raw. Got and it. to me, like, yeah, I know it adds a ton of flavor. I know it cooks to 165 degrees. I know that it's safe. Right. There's just something about it that I, I doesn't jive with me. Maybe it comes out a little too mushy or whatever the case may be, or it steams too much. Okay. Um, this technique here. Uh, it makes an unbelievable stuffing. Right. And, uh, you know, I've been getting comments all morning about how great it smells oh, in it here. Oh, it does. It's because it's the basics. Got it. So we have butter, we have onions, we have celery in this pan. Mm -hmm. Cheap, cheap white bread. Right. Okay? Cheap, cheap white bread. Because, you know, big, big, beautiful breads, what happens with them is sometimes they have these, like, thick crusts. Right. It doesn't break down before the inside does. So you're eating a lot of, like, mushy, mushy middle yep. and, like, yep. undercooked crust. Oh. This right, is. Yes. So you're saying you're using like the cheaper white bread. Yes. And I know you. You're gonna, is this like fresh, or are you letting it kind of like stay well, for a little you, bit so it stays? Well, great firm? question. I love the letting it sit. It's, that way, it holds its uh, you know right. identity a little bit yeah. more. It holds. It holds up to the cooking. I love that. If you have the day to do it, uh, you know, cut it the day before. Let it sit out on the counter. Right. And you'll be totally fine. Okay. If you don't have the time, this is going to be okay yep, too. Yep. The reason is because we're going to rehydrate this bread. So. Uh, I went in with the celery and I went in with the onions and then I put a decent amount of butter. Remember we talked mm -hmm. about butter on Thanksgiving, fresh herbs. And now this is where stuffing becomes stuffing. It does it with the chicken broth. So uh, I'm adding some chicken broth. You can add turkey broth if you can find it. And we don't want this to be too soggy. This is critical when you're cooking, Will, every recipe has uh, a CCP. 
or a critical control point. Oh, a CCP. It's very fancy wow, stuff. I'm look yes, that up. yes, I'm more, <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a critical control point, and and the the hydration of the bread is the critical control right. point. You don't want it to be under. You don't want to see any like raw Got core it. of the bread, and you also don't want it to be too okay. soggy. All right, so check your CCP. Yes. Uh, we will be checking our CCP yeah. and uh, try this out. I can't believe I just said. That. I don't know. It sounded yeah. great to me. Yeah. We're also going to get Nick's thoughts on deep frying a turkey. Yes. Because I know a lot of people do it. I don't know. We'll don't see what know. he thinks. Uh, and we'll try the stuffing. Back yes. to you. All right, we're back in the kitchen this morning with Nick Raybar. We're just talking birthdays. And we yes. figured out we're both Gemini. Yes, we are both Gemini. I yes. love that. See twins. That? That's why see? I have twins. That's why That's this. Why. I've got two of me in there, and it's a constant struggle. See? But yes. I feel that. Yes. I feel that. The world only needs one of them. You only need one. Yeah, only, only need one. one. Yes, only need one. And you know what? We only need one recipe. One thing for stuffing. 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 One stuffing recipe. Where is the stuffing? Well, it's. I, so I'm going to tell you because we had. Imagine. This has been a fun morning. You've been following along. Yes. We had our middle cooking uh, segment where I showed you how to make the stuffing. So right. in the beginning, I had all the ingredients out. This is the simplest stuffing ever. This is not the one and only Thanksgiving stuffing. This is a quick and easy. This is a quick and easy Quick one. and easy yes. Thanksgiving Which stuffing. Which I love when you do when you do recipes like Thank that. Thank you. It's so simple. Five, six ingredients. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, butter. Don't be shy. Don't it's be Thanksgiving. Shy. Don't be shy with the right. butter. So you start up by melting your butter, then you go in with the celery and the onions. Basic aromatic ingredients. Right. Season them with a little salt and pepper. Okay. Go in with your bread. Toss, Toss. the bread. Let it get a, every piece get a little bit of butter. Uh, to Will's point, you cut the bread and you let it sit out overnight. It helps. Okay, I did. Yes. It helps it so it doesn't overhydrate and sort of turn to total mush. Right. Uh, then you go in with your broth. This is the critical part That's of cooking. That's the critical. You sound like the a doctor. CCP. That's the critical this part. This is the CCP, the critical control point. We'll love that term. Where if you overdo it, your stuffing is mush. Okay. And you underdo it, you have slightly moist bread. Okay. You want it to be just right. right. So uh, what is just right? Well, you kind of have to judge and feel. Um, you you want it to be better to air on the side of too much broth okay. than too little. Than too little. Because okay. now I'm going to answer your question where it is. I bake it. And the reason I bake it is because stuffing when you're just sort of mixing bread with right. stock can be a little mushy. Gotcha. If you bake it, you're going to kind of develop this crust. And when you oh, take your stuffing so out, good. you're going to have texture to it. You're going to have that texture right up. Okay. Yes, right. crispy, crunchy tips of the bread. The bottom will be, you know, nice and brown. Right. And it's going to be fantastic. The butter that's in the bread will prevent it from sticking for the most part. Okay. Um, you'll get a little bit of stick down there if you did it right. This could probably it smells use... Smells delicious. It, it, you know it why? It really does. Herbs. Rosemary, thyme, uh, parsley. Is that the magic mix? That's the mix. Okay. I find sage to be a bit obtrusive. Okay. Sage is an aggressive little herb. It can be a lot. I it's know. It's a lot. I know. It's a lot. And you bite so it, it, it requires a lot of chew. Yeah. This no, is nice and I simple. I said as soon as I walked in, Kareem, our intern is yeah. here too, I said it smells yeah. like Thanksgiving. Yes. yes. Kareem loves it. That's why she Did hasn't left it? all morning. She, okay. See? She loves She's been hanging the in the kitchen over here. It smells so good. So while we're waiting for this really quickly, yes, yes. we talked to you this morning on our Facebook Live. Yes. We're talking about Thanksgiving. Yes. Tell us your opinion on frying a turkey. I think it's risky, risky business. That's that's my opinion. And you're a professional. I know how to fry with the best of them. Right. And uh, here are a few things, and maybe because if anybody out there wants to fry, maybe yeah, maybe they can let. You know, first of all, you have to have a vessel large enough. It's got to be big enough. And right. you don't want to fill it to the top because when you submerge your turkey, it's going to go over. Okay. And you want to be careful, even if you leave a little bit of room, when you it's going to bubble up in the beginning because when you fry, especially high moisture things like turkey, right, it creates this bubble and steam and all this other stuff. Right. You want that oil around like the 250 to 300 degree mark. You don't want it to be high, high, high because a turkey takes a while to get all the way cooked in the middle. Right. If you were simply, you know, doing the crust, making it that charred on the outside, no brainer. Put, drop it in, pull it out. But you have to cook it all the way through. So slow and low is the key there. Okay. I'm not a fan. I think it's really messy. I think it that... It does seem really messy. It, and like getting it out... Petrifies you were me. You were saying that because you do. You need a big enough space. Yes. It's on usually just like a little hook. Yes. Yeah. And there's things like that. I mean, there's kits to do it right. Right. But if you're if you're just going into it and you're putting the turkey in, and you don't have the kit, remember you got to get it out too. You got to get it out. And we got to get, get this get out. out. We got to get this out and to the stuffing. This Let's see what this is looks like. our Thanksgiving oh stuffing, God, and it looks picture perfect. Now, um, I'll be 
I'll be honest with everyone. It could probably use looks. another 10, 15 minutes in there because what you is, think so? Yeah, just you want it to be, you want to see it like almost like little black tips. So is this um, like not edible? No. Oh, no, it's cooked. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing raw in saying, here. It looks amazing. No, no, you're going to eat it. I even put your little fork right there. Look at him forcing see, it. See, I've taken care of you. You really do. I try. And you know, what you're going to get is, see what? that? Oh, my You're going to get a little of that. i got to get some onion in there. Yes. And the, it's structurally held up very, very well. It's structurally oh held up very, very well, right? Yeah. It's simple. So good. And that's why I talk about using that cheap white bread. It's, it holds, yes, I know, right? I want to run away with this. It has grown in such crazy popularity. I was never a big stuffing person. <laughs> I was raised on stovetop. My mother was an exceptional cook, but we did stovetop. Okay. Yeah. Thanksgiving, make it from scratch. This was easy. Yeah, this was so easy. It's oh. Five, six ingredients. So good. If you're ca if you're bunching all the herbs together, you're yeah. talking about six ingredients. It's, it's that simple. Unbelievable. Thanks. Thanks. We Thanks. love you. I Thanks love you. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm oh so God. happy all your kiddos are together I know. and your family all my is there. Are home. It's and still that's so good. what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. That's it. Yep. So we're gonna end it. That's end it. it. Mike drop. Happy Thanksgiving. Ah. Bye.